Hi there. I have routed most of my PCB as we had seen in our last session. But now, as you can see, there are two tracks which are missing to be done. This one and this one. So that's why I always say that PCB designing is a science as well as art at the same time. Now what you need to do is you need to find out your way out of all the hurdles to reach to that point from this point. Now a quickest way to do that using Eagle is just try routing it. You have to have selected a route tool and then you have to have selected walk around obstacle and then just try to route it up to this. Now as you can see this is the only way with which we can do it and we don't want that. Another one is this one here. So if I want to connect this to this then there is this way of going from between all the tracks and doing everything and coming to this point. So this one is fairly okay and simpler. So let's just first adjust our tracks a little bit and uh, let's take the route. I'll take a smaller one here with 10 as my width. See by right clicking this is changed over here how the way my track gets cut. Slip up then route. So I'll choose this bend style. A little bit closer. Now this 90 degree bend would do. But first again delete that track. Again route, and this one is done. But this here seems completely impossible at least in this scenario and I must say this is not the best layout but just something to just get along with okay. So while you do it place your components properly. Now if you don't get a workaround in this situation what we do it's something called as a top copper routing. So let's try to take it out as much as possible. Let's see. Up to this point. So, if you are at all making a single sided PCB, then do one thing at this point. Just click it once, just once, okay? And then come here, select top layer. then again come to that point select bottom layer and then place it. Now what we have done just here is we have routed one track from top copper. Now I know that we are going to create a single sided PCB but in that case what happens is this top copper track provides us with a path of jumper. So with these two minor holes here which are called as wires we get a top copper track which will act as a jumper and that finishes our PCB. Thanks for watching this video.